Hi, everyone. Welcome to Art and Talks Impression Show. Thank you so much for being with us today. I'm Leslie Sue, the host for Impression. Impression is Art and Talks new adjunct video series that provides an opportunity for an artist to present an overview or impression of their art, as well as highlighting one area of their art as well. Today, our guest is a visual artist and she works in an eclectic variety of styles and subject matter. She'll be presenting an overview of her art and we'll also be looking at a particular art piece that works within the theme of black music and legacy. All right, so again, thank you for being with us. I'd like to welcome our guest, Janelle Fulford, also goes by Extraordinary J or just J. Welcome. Hello, hello, hi everyone. It's great to have you here. Um, so you work in a variety of different mediums like charcoal, acrylic, mixed media, watercolor, and a variety of themes interest you, um, like social justice and um, areas of music such as hip hop. You kind of intertwine a lot of modern themes, but also issues of faith and Americana. I'm wondering, Jay, could you kind of tap into your, your areas of interest through your art? Well, definitely, you know, the wonderful thing about this human experience is we have the opportunity to absorb it through our eyes, our ears, and mostly our hearts. So I feel as if it is important that different views and different perspectives are shared with the world. And I actually do that through my art. Um, so it depends on the subject matter that helps me decide the particular medium. So can you give us a couple of examples um, before we look at one of your specifically? Um, so some of the current themes that maybe you're working with or that you have been working with. Um, so the subject matter comes first and then from there your process moves into, okay, this kind of feels like charcoal or this kind of feels like acrylic. Can you kind of tap us into your um, thought process with that? Exactly. So um, the current series that I'm working on is the Carter Collection. I'm a huge Jay-Z and Beyonce fan. As you know, she's coming out with a new album, so I'm super excited about that. So a lot of times I see a, a photo, and then from there, I break it down into uh, my style called contemporary cubism. So I basically uh, take the forms and the shapes of the image and then break them down to very basic um, shapes like squares, triangles, uh, diamond shapes. And then I also like to add some kind of intrinsic value. So sometimes it includes the lyrics. I'm also a poet. So um, sometimes I have a poem to go along with it. Uh, I remember in 2020 at the height of the pandemic, there was so much going on with the world as far as finances, as far as social justice. And one thing that really struck a chord with me was Brianna, the Brianna Taylor case. If you're not familiar with it, it was a young woman. They tried to serve a warrant for someone in her immediate circle. And they ended up shooting through the wall and killing her while she was asleep. And it it, it was just, it was, it was outrageous because it's like, as, a, as an American, we already were afraid of our safety for the health reason. And now here you could, here you could just be a lady at sleep and they shoot through your, through your home. And um, they did not prosecute the, the officers. They didn't investigate for a very long time. So that really made me want to do a tribute piece to her honor and her legacy. If the, if the justice system wouldn't honor her as a person, I as an artist decided to do that. So one of my pieces is a tribute to Miss Blue Collar Black America that talks about how women of color really helped uh, the backbone of the nation with healthcare as a teacher. I was a teacher at the time as well and, and an EMT. So Brianna Taylor was an EMT. So that's like one of my pieces as well that I use my uh, contemporary cubism to create. Mm -hmm. you go. And this contemporary Cubist style that you've kind of like signature created, um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? And so um, some of the influences that you've had through your art are, are the Cubist artists, is that correct? Yes, definitely. So one of my favorite artists of all times is Pablo Picasso. And Pablo Picasso, he started off just like myself, where he went to an art school and he learned all different types of techniques, but it just felt like the challenge was no longer there to be able to create something that looks like real life. So he explored different ways to communicate his ideas. 
he took a trip to Africa and was so impressed by the cubist forms of the carvings. And he started to incorporate multi views, different perspectives in his artwork, because just because we as people have different perspectives inside to ourselves. So I incorporate that those same images where when you see my image, you don't see a white person, you don't see a black person, you see a person, you know, with a heart and with eyes and a smile and the and the subject matter. So everyone could see themselves in their art. Oh, I love that. That's really beautiful, Jay. So in a way, you're almost transcending um, physical attributes, um, you know, different areas of, of how we physically look and kind of really getting to the heart and soul and, and essence of the human experience and kind of tapping in into that domain. And, and it's so fascinating, as you were saying, and bringing um, the cubist um, uh, style, except in, you know, in a fresh new way to show all these different perspectives. That, that's really cool and really interesting. Thank you. I also add some hidden words. So every one of my pieces, I'll have some kind of hidden messages. If it's the um, subject matter's name, nicknames, some symbolism, like you'll see in the piece that we're going to review today that I have some hidden messages in that as well. Um, there's another piece that's a mother and child. Um, when Beyonce had her twins, uh, it was like broke the internet uh, with her with her babies, but I feel like um, everybody could understand the love between mother and child. And so the piece of artwork that I created um, is something that's timeless, that I could see uh, hanging up in a doctor's office or even hanging up in someone's, um, a, like, a, like a, a nursery because it's some beautiful pinks and blues and gold tones. It's a really, really nice piece. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And working with the theme of mother and child is, is so iconic and, and, and so beautiful and, and symbolic in so many ways. Thank you. Yeah. I think this would be a great moment, Jay. Let's pull up the piece we're going to look at. Okay. Give me just a moment and let's get that up. Okay. So what would you like to share? Okay, so this piece is uh, called Legacy. And this piece was inspired by a composition by one of our modern day poets, uh, Jay-Z. He's a rapper and a business person, but um, he grew up in very, very um, meager beginnings. He grew up in the housing projects of Marcy in New York City. And now he's actually a billionaire. And so he, tries to share with the world the importance of financial literacy, the importance of legacy, teaching your children about wills and about philanthropy. So um, the family, Jay-Z is married to Beyonce and people assume them to be perfect in their image. So on New Year's, they took two images. They had one image that was perfectly poised and then they released another image where the children were the son was off the father's lap and the other little girl wasn't looking directly at the camera and the teenage girl was looking at the mom. And so I used that image to start this, this piece of artwork. So um, it shows the beautiful imperfection of the Carter family. And then inside of this piece, you'll also see um, some sheet music. So the sheet music in this piece was actually the sound sample used as the background for the song Legacy. The original artist is Donny Hathaway, and he has this song entitled, Someday We'll All Be Free. And I feel like right now in the financial landscape, as we're turning from traditional fiat currency to digital currency, it is an opportunity for all of us to, to live equally and have freedom in the finances. So I felt that that was really important that he sampled music in his image and in, in the song, and I sampled that same music inside of this piece. I also included the lyrics because it's one thing to hear a piece of music, but imagine if we only had records, right? Now it's hard to find a record player. So how are we going to be able to hear this masterpiece if you don't have, let's say, an MP3 player, you know, 40 years from now? Uh, when you look at the cavemen, the only way we know about their lifestyle was because of the paintings on the wall, right? We don't have any kind of book. 
We don't have an audio recording, but we have those illustrations that the cavemen drew on the walls. So I take my artwork to be the same thing as modern day cave drawings of what's happening in our society. And it's so important and so beautiful that I also included in this image, um, uh, inc encrusted it with pearls and black diamonds because I feel like these are jewels and that are so valuable. Lastly, majority of my pieces are framed in an unconditional way. So normally you would have a nice fillet, a nice wood fillet to go around your artwork and frame it in a nice traditional frame. I feel like I want the world to feel what I'm saying and touch it and, and it's actually real. So I incorporate 3D pieces like um, like the fabric that you see there. The fabric that frames this image is actually a lace tassel combination. And it speaks to the um, to the seriousness and the legacy. When you think of a will and a legacy, you think of someone dying, right? So you think of the, the, the all black and the lace. And, um, but it also has a, a certain amount of regalness, right? And it has a certain amount of beauty and timelessness. So I wanted to add that to this piece to that they are more than icons. You know, these are living people sharing legacy, love and financial freedom with the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so beautiful and so creative. And I love the rich content, Jay, that you bring into your work as, as you've been um, commenting on it. And so we have mixed media, we have digital collage, we have your signature a Cubist style. Um, did I miss anything there? Um, no, you know, for all of that, I have, I have two distinct styles, I think, in my encyclopedia of Extraordinary Day. That's my goal, is to have a piece of artwork for every letter of the alphabet. And so I have a dark and deep series, which are heavy themes, very rich content, but then I have a light and bright series. And as you can see, but as you can see behind me, or, or when I go back to the video of, of myself, um, you'll see behind me, I also do just very uh, nice, bright colored abstract pieces because sometimes we just need uh, uh, something refreshing in our life. The world is so heavy and so much controversy. Sometimes you just need something beautiful. As a matter of fact, in 2012, uh, right in the middle of the whole 2012, the world's going to end, you know, thing going on. I said, the world needs to experience some joy. So um, my car needed a fresh paint job and they quoted me $1,000 to paint the car. And I said, I'm a painter with $1,000. You know how much painting I can do? So what I, what I decided to do is actually convert my car to a mobile masterpiece. So um, my car, it evolved like six different times. One time it was like a unicorn thing with purples and pinks and goals. Another time it was a tribute to social justice where I had a, we could all be free, uh, stand up for your right. Uh, love is what the world needs now. So it, it was a really cool piece because people would would ride by in such an oddity. Now they have wraps. So, you know, they, so it's, it's a lot of cool cars now use the vinyl wraps. But at the time, this was hand painting on a car. And, you know, someone in a Maserati taking a picture of my hand painted car is really cool. And I think the, 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 uh, the best compliment I received was a young girl, she walked by and she didn't really pay attention that I was sitting in the car. But she looked at my car and she went to go touch the car and she says, you know what? This is kind of tacky, but I like it. <laughs> and, and to me, that was like, you know, it's something that was extraordinary and it caught her attention and it made her stop whatever she was doing in the world to appreciate some art in a public space. Yes, yes. And I love that, how you're bringing your art to your car, you know, really coming up with creative, innovative solutions um, you know, as the example that you said with your car, you're like, oh, I'm a painter, thousand dollars. Look, I think I can, you know, do some things with it. And then also presenting some areas of, of interest with social justice and, and your love of words as, as well. Yes. Yeah. Now the Carter collection, um, is that related to the, um, the pop-up in NYC that's going to be debuted? Yes, actually, we just came, I just came back from New York City. Um, it was a four-day pop-up event 
that we have. I'm with a group called The Fearless Artist. You can check them out at The Fearless Artist on Instagram. Um, and so it's a organization that teaches you how to be fearless in your pursuit of art, whether it's dance, visual art, poetry, videography. And so we go through online courses that teach you about how to become fearless and get seen, shared, and sold. So we did our first pop-up in New York City last week. It was really successful. And then we're doing another one coming in uh, December in Miami. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram as Extraordinary J. I think the link's going to be down in the bio later. But um, yeah, we're going to have a pop-up in, in um December during Art Basel Week, which is wonderful because, you know, the world just comes together and we have uh, artists all over the globe. We're in 27 countries and 100 cities. And so um, artists, if you're an artist and you're interested in applying, we'll be opening up that application as well. It's free to apply and we choose the best of the best for this uh, event that's going to happen in Miami as well. So the Carter Collection, yes, is a part of that. And in that collection, I also want to mention there was a musical masterpiece. So I'm an artist at a studio in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida called Zero Empty Spaces. And it's a collection of 18 artists and we all have our own private studio, but we get together and do exhibitions together. Well, one of the exhibitions that we chose to do was to link with the young orchestra, with the uh, orchestra of Palm Beach County, the Palm Beach County Symphony, when I'm getting it right, the Palm Beach County Symphony. They donated old instruments and we were able to create a work of art to be auctioned off. So I chose two violins and in that, I, one is um, has my golden child, which is my Madonna and child image that I painted on the violin and then had um, some sapphires, and um, some gold, um, gold foil on them. And the other one I did, it's just a tribute to black love. So I had a collage of Jay-Z and Beyonce and a sepia tone with black rhinestones encrusted in it. So those are really cool pieces, really unique pieces in the Carter collection. Mm -hmm. How exciting. And yes. uh, you bring such creativity and pull from so many different areas that you want us to look at through your art that are important to you. And I love how you just, you really kind of sift and move around and, you know, pull from things that are going on in, in society, you know, that, that you want to bring light to, you want to bring love to, you want to bring justice to, as well as your own unique um, artistic expression as well. Right. Yeah. So many times, you know, people, um, people tend to shy away from uncomfortable situations, right? But if you're able to read something or you're able to look at a piece of artwork and then identify with it, it's a lot less confrontational, but the, but the message is still communicated. So I feel like that was so important. Like the, uh, I sold four pieces at Art Basel Miami and that was one of the pieces that sold was a social justice piece that talked about where we are, but also who we could be as a nation, how we could all come together and there's ultimate victory when we all choose to be the solution. So um, I, I feel like it's a higher calling. Yes, art is beautiful, but art can change the world. And so I'm so fortunate to be Extraordinary J. I'll tell you how I got that name. So my name is Janelle Fullford. Um, my family is a, is a group of uh, educators um, and we are also believers. And so um, my name is Janelle, I'm just ordinary Janelle, but God gave me the anointing to be extra. And I feel like it's my duty to share that extraordinariness with the world. Hence, my name is Extraordinary J. And just in case there's another Extraordinary J, I'm Extraordinary J underscore the artist. I love that. And your vibrancy and your energy and, um, you know, your active participation in the community with art and culture has spanned. I just want to mention um, for several decades, you've been um, a volunteer in uh, many projects across the board here in South Florida, and of course, many um, exhibitions, um, whether they're group or solo. Um, Extraordinary Jay, we have just a few more minutes. I know that you have a, um, amongst your many projects going on, um, and again, uh, you know, thank you so much for your contributions um, in the community as being, you know, a vibrant, positive force um, through your art. Um, you have coming up in July, a Midsummer's Night uh, ongoing event. Tell us about that before we close out the show, if you would. 
Wonderful. Okay, so in the summertime, I have a seven-year-old and after camp, he's like, okay, mommy, what are we doing next? What's happening? Well, I came up with an idea to do Midsummer Nights Mondays at the museum. So this is going to take place at Zero Empty Spaces in Palm Beach Gardens. It's right across from the Palm Beach Gardens Mall. If you look at the Lego piece in the middle, we're right behind there. So um, what happens there is every Monday from six to eight, that will be the family time. You'll get a signature drink, you'll get a sweet treat, and then we'll create some amazing projects uh, for you to take home. It's a, it's a great opportunity for family members to bond or friends to hang out together on a Monday, because I know you could do a, a plethora of things in the city during the weekend, but on the weekday, here's a cool activity for people to come out and, and enjoy. So that will be on an event, right? You're able to register on there, and I'm running a promotion for the first one. To attend the event, it's $40, but for the first one, you're able to buy one, get one free. So you could come and invite your friend, and both of you guys will have the signature drink, the signature sweet treat, and then also leave with a cool project as a memento. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds wonderful. So we'll be on the lookout for that coming up in July next month. Extraordinary Jay, it's been amazing to connect with you. And I think connect is a really good word because you really connect us through your art with um, social issues, culture, um, music, so many different areas that, that you touch upon. And I know that you love to also connect artists with um, other artists and empower them. So you, you really have your hands in, in so many different areas that, that are so beautiful and, and purposeful and, and meaningful. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate this opportunity and I will definitely share the Impressionist show with my friends and families in the art world. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much and have a great summer. Stay in touch with us and um, Many, many, many blessings with all your endeavors. You too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching Art and Talk's Impression Show. We appreciate the time you take to watch our show. If you are an artist and you're interested in being on Impression, or if you have an artist referral, let us know just by sending an email to viewoftheartist at gmail.com. We'll get back to you with scheduling and information. Please stay connected with us on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and also stay connected with us on our Facebook page as well. Please follow and like us. All right. So we'll talk soon on the next impression. Until then, be well and be blessed. Mm -hmm.